Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. So Gandhi once said, there's more to life than increasing its speed. And I think that I often think to myself, do you want to be hurrying or do you want to be caring? Do you want to get someplace fast or on your way to where it is you need to go? You see what it is that makes you feel alive, stops you in your tracks, gives you a sense of gratitude and presence, and never allows you to lose your connection with your heart. When I was back in uh, college, one of my professors, who was a phenomenal teacher, used to share a lot of really cool stories about how life works when we are present, how mindfulness is absolutely one of the most beautiful opportunities that we can bring into the world. So he was talking about this one study that was done at Princeton decades ago. And it was a big lecture class, literally hundreds of people, but uh, half that group of several hundred were told um, before class, there was a notice that went out and said, listen, um, class is gonna start early, you need to be there early. The other group, the other half was told, class will start a little bit late, please take your time to get there when you can. That's the difference. What they did is they placed in, uh, out in front of the lecture hall or on the way to the lecture hall, probably about a couple hundred yards in front of it, but this one sidewalk path, just off the path was a person who was faking being injured, laying on the ground, holding his knee, um, not, not like overly dramatic. <laughs> it's like, ah. No, it's more like you could just tell he was down, he was hurt, and um, no one was there to help him. And what they found is that the students who were told to get to class on time, or if not be even early, they literally didn't even look. I mean, there was a quick glance, but it's almost like I don't see you. I'm not gonna get, get caught up in you. I don't wanna know about you or be mindful of what's happening there. The other group that was given the opportunity, yes, you've guessed it, to take their time. Every single one, and there was like 140 some odd students, every single one of them stopped, noticed, asked if they could be helpful, asked if they could do anything to help that person who was in need. And it brought me to this beautiful question. This is, gosh, this is over 30, 30, many 30 years ago, like 35 years ago. And I was thinking, ah, should I be hurrying or should I be caring? And as Gandhi said, there's more to life than increasing its speed. I think it gives all of us an opportunity who are feeling this sense of disconnection with the things that matter most. And when we know that Harvard's study on the most happy people. They didn't just do a happy people. It was the very most happy people. And it came down to one thing, connecting with other human beings in a meaningful, purposeful way. That was a study. The happier you were is because it correlated with how much time you spent being connected meaningfully and purposefully to other human beings. Isn't it interesting? Life seems to be asking us to increase its speed. We think we're gonna get someplace where our meaning and our purpose lies. And interesting enough, our meaning and purpose happens on the journey. It happens right before our very eyes on the way to where we think we need to be. So today, and if you are so inclined the rest of your life, you're going, ha, ah, I'm tired of being tired and wired. I would love to have a cadence that is compassionate and peaceful and purposeful and makes me feel deeply connected to my heart's knowing. Well, simply slow down so you can see. See what's in front of you and what's around you. And don't be afraid to care. Care deeply, care often, care all the time. So with that, much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.